Hey guys. I've given this some thought. And I didn't know if I was going to do this. Because, well, I think of uh, long-term survival as needing more things. But then I said, this doesn't have to be long-term survival. This can be out in the woods for a hike, getting dark, you're straight off the path, and that's it. And maybe till tomorrow morning you'll be found. It's not in the mountains, it's not, it's just some things that you could use. And I've seen a few videos, I've seen Anders Borg video, and that guy has a great system. He said you have to improvise stuff and stay away from trinkets and maybe sometimes um, create things from scratch. I think that's that's exactly, that's spot on, that's, I don't know. The only knife I have with a pouch on the sheath is the Bushman. So I use this instead of using some imaginary measures. I'm going to take this out of the way. And I'll take this out so I can get them out and get the items out comfortably. I did make my list with the top five. But for now, I'll explain them as I take them out. Um, Scott said you have um, some cotton with Vaseline and a fair rod in the handle. So that's, a, that's all very good. These are band-aids. They're about well this wide and about as long as maybe uh, two-thirds of the pouch. You can... You're always gonna scrape your hands. You're always gonna. If you have gloves, that's even better. It wasn't. Nobody said anything, so I would take that. I would take uh, candle, a little tea candle, because if the wood's damp and you have to have a fire, it's easier. If you put the candle in, this will burn for about eight, nine minutes. And it's easier for you to get a flame than just with a cotton ball. I usually have cotton balls that are soaked in candle wax. I will take this for that reason. And maybe you can't have fire. Maybe it's dark. Maybe you there's no wood around. You're in a cave and you just light this up. Comfort item. I would have this with me. Because while I trust the ferro rod that's in the handle... I'm a smoker, I always have a lighter on me, and for me a ferro rod is bushcraft. This is survival. So I would have at least one lighter on me at all times. The DC-4, this pretty much stays in the pouch. The good one is in my day kit. This pretty much stays with the Bushman. Um, maybe if you want to put it in a pouch, then you would um, choose the DC-3. That's, well, more convenient for carrying. Okay, a little button compass. Although if you don't have the map of the place, I don't know. A little whistle, because in the forest, this is one thing. I don't go without a whistle. Um, I have two of them in my day pack and this is not one of them, this is a different whistle. But I have two of them in my day pack and I would take a whistle because people are going to hear you in the woods if you have a loud whistle. This is a Fox 40 Micro. They're pretty loud. I would take a little keychain light. I would take my head torch but it doesn't fit in here. I would also take a plastic Ziploc bag and chlorine based water purification tablets. 
there are nine here. Used one. Um, I did use a blister of these ten one time, and they're pretty decent. Um, they smell a lot like chlorine, and I like that more than iodine, so I favor these. And with the bag, you could you have your container. Once again, I'm thinking 72 hours. This is 10 meters of cord. I know paracord is the best thing there is. But I have a lot of paracord and I always find myself using this stuff just because it's cheap and it's decent. But mostly because it's cheap and you cut it up and you don't really care. I have like lots of little bit, bits of this everywhere. So, okay. And the last item here is the Gerber clutch. I have the vise in my day kit and the clutch is here. Why? Well, mainly for for one reason. Not to say okay, it has pliers, but I could have taken the vise and it has a little blade. Uh, no, this is the nail file and the little blade is here. And this little gadget, but the main reason is can you see it? Yeah, tweezers. They're very important to me, as well as the band-aids. Tweezers and band-aids, a must-have for me at least. And even if even with gloves, but without well, now, let me just sheet the knife and put this in shell. The five items. I take the whistle, the keychain light, cordage, the EC4, and the clutch. And Oh, there you go. And the rest, well, I'm thinking short-term survival. I could get a fire with just the uh, ferro rod and the uh, Vaseline. And I would have light. And the most important thing is signaling. If you're lost, if you're if you stray off the path and you're lost, for me, the most important thing would be signaling. Because, well... Yeah, arguably the rule of threes, but I would also fit this in somewhere. I have two or three, no, three of these in my in my backpack, wherever I go. Two just brand new, one in my day kit, one in my front pouch, and one that I uh, I've been using for the last month. I put it on the ground. I put it in the backpack, and it's still going. The 240 liters industrial trash liners, they're very good. Anyway, I'll stretch out long enough. These are them. If something doesn't make sense, please let me know. If you have other opinions, please let me know. And if you think this is just plain stupid, please let me know. Like I said, I've thought about this, but I haven't really um, played with this stuff out out in the bush. So these are my ideas for from watching a couple of videos and thinking about it a few days. Thanks for watching and I wish you all a great day.